Last season, I put out a Strand Moth Arms build, and it was low-key insane, and a lot of people still slept on Moth Keeper's wraps. Well, they just got even more insane. Mako's Buck here, and today we are going to talk about giving yourself almost every buff Prismatic has to offer all at once. Jolt, Volatile, Unravel, Woven Mail, Overshield, Radiant, Amplified. What if I told you you could have all of these things rolling at the same time? It's simple. Moth Keeper's Wraps and Prismatic go hand in hand. Moth Keeper's Wraps are exotic gauntlets that come with the perk Winged Eclipse. Your grenade becomes a cage of loyal moths that release on impact and fly toward the nearest target or ally. If they reach a target, they detonate in a blinding explosion. If they reach you or an ally, the moth grants you an overshield. I know moth arms sound pretty weird on paper and they kind of fly under the radar, but they have crazy synergy with prismatic and pretty much give you a ton of buffs with one moth throw. Now, let's get into the build. Your exotic armor is going to be Moth Keeper's Wraps. Obviously, we just talked about that. And your exotic weapon will be Graviton Lance. Everyone knows what Graviton Lance does, so I don't think I need to cover that much. You could also use Buried Bloodline here to give yourself Devour on top of everything else, unless you're like me who's coming up to 40 clears and still does not have it. With all that said, let's set up your subclass starting with the Super, and that is going to be Silk Strike, the Strand Super. Why Strand Super? I will get into that later. Your abilities are going to be Gambler's Dodge, Triple Jump, Combination Blow, and Grapple Grenade. Why Grapple Grenade? If your grenade is being replaced by Moss, Grapple has the shortest cooldown of all the grenades, so you will get your Moss back even quicker. Don't worry, they will still be considered Arc Moths. Aspects will be Threaded Spectre, dodging drops a strand decoy behind you. Your second aspect will be Winter Shroud, dodging near enemies slows them, and dodging near slowed enemies will completely freeze them. Why these two aspects? Well, they're going to synergize directly with the two fragments that will have your Moss doing more damage and give you more grenade energy back. How you ask? Let's check out the fragments. The first one being Facet of Bravery, defeating targets with grenade final blows, grants volatile rounds to your void weapons. This just took your graviton lance from crazy to crazier. Also, defeating targets with powered melee final blows will grant your strand weapons unraveling rounds, and we're going to be using the call, but we'll cover that later. Facet of Dominance, your arc grenade jolts enemies, and this also works with your moss. So now, not only will your moss be blinding enemies and hitting like a truck, they'll also be jolting and chaining lightning between enemies. A facet of Courage, your arc abilities deal increased damage to enemies affected by darkness debuffs. This works directly with Winter Shroud. Dodge near an enemy to slow or freeze them, and your arc moth will deal more damage to them. Facet of Balance, rapidly defeating targets with darkness damage, grants grenade energy. Dodge near enemies, drop a threaded specter, it explodes dealing strand damage, and now you get grenade energy back. Facet of Purpose, and since we're using strand super, picking up an orb of power will grant you woven mail, and we will be making a lot of orbs. And lastly, Facet of Protection, while surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage. Now that we have your subclass sorted out, I think it's best to go over the artifact mods because they continue to take this build over the top. Column 1, you only need to worry about anti-barrier pulse and unstoppable sidearm since we are using graviton lance and the call. Oh, and jolt slow and freeze stuns overload, so don't worry, you have all three champions covered. Column 2 will be Overcharged Armory to overcharge your sidearm, The Call, and Winning Hand, Precision Final Blows are rapidly defeating enemies with The Call, cause the target to explode, dealing solar damage, because we didn't have enough things going boom yet. Column 3 will be Elemental Siphon, Rapid Final Blows with a Kinetic Weapon or a Weapon Matching Your Super creates an Elemental Pickup. We're using a Strand Super and a Strand Weapon, so you will be making a lot of Tangles. Talking about tangles, let's toss on Threaded Blast. Destroying a tangle with a strand weapon creates a larger and more damaging explosion. And Threaded Blast gives off massive OG Warmind cell vibes. Column 4, you will want Radiant Orbs. Picking up an Orb of Power grants you Radiant, and Galvanic Armor while you are amplified incoming damage is reduced. Combination Blow and Moth Kills will be activating Amplified. And your fifth and final column will be Shield Crush. While you have Woven Mail, your melee recharges faster and deals increased damage. And while you are Radiant or Amplified, your grenade recharges faster and also deals increased damage. You pretty much always have Woven Mail, Radiant, and Amplified. I honestly don't think there is anything more synergistic in the Prismatic Kit with Moth Arms than everything I just listed. I tried to do a few different setups with Gunpowder Gamble, Stylus Executioner, and a few other fragments. They were fine in mid-tier difficulty stuff, but really lacked in content where you are under 20 light. 
I will say Moth Kills Turn You Invisible with Stylist Executioner, and that is super nice if you want to go that route, but the way I have it set up here was doing the most damage and clearing rooms as quick as possible. With that said, armor mods still matter, so let's set that up. Starting with your helmet, Ashes to Assets, Grenade Final Blows grant you super energy, and Hands On, Melee Final Blows grant you super energy. Since you're going to be doing an endless loop of chucking moss and punching things in the face, also prepare to have your super a ton. Your arms will be firepower, killing an enemy with a grenade drops an orb of power, heavy handed, killing an enemy with a powered melee drops an orb of power, and impact induction, dealing damage with a powered melee grants grenade energy. This is here for any time all of your grenades are on cooldown, just do the combination blow loop of melee dodge melee to very quickly get your grenade back. Don't worry, you're not going to be stuck just spamming combination blow 24-7. Chest will be melee damage resistance since you will be in a lot of enemies' faces and elemental damage resistances against enemies you are fighting. Your legs will be recuperation, picking up an orb of power heals you. Innervation, picking up an orb of power grants grenade energy. And void weapon surge, picking up an orb of power grants a damage buff to your void weapons. And lastly, cloak will be powerful attraction, dodging picks up nearby orbs of power. And double bomber, dodging grants you grenade energy. Moving on to the weapons, your energy slot will be Graviton Lance, and like I mentioned, you could use Buried Bloodline here if you want to add Devour to all of this. I'm cursed, so I can't. Your kinetic slot will be the Call, the Strand Rocket Pistol Sidearm with Quick Launch, Tactical Mag, Lead from Gold, and One for All with a Backup Mag mod. You can also go the route of Demolitionist over Lead from Gold for more synergy with your Moths. Since you will pretty much always have volatile rounds or unraveling rounds, I would recommend keeping your heavy a void or strand weapon as well. Good suggestions would be Commemoration, Hammerhead, Edge Transit, the new Rocket Launcher, Faith Keeper for Void. And for strand, you can go with Cataphract, Caraxis, or Pro Memoria. Your stat goals for this build will be 100 Resilience and 100 Discipline. All other stats do not really matter as this play loop will give you instant dodges, instant powered melees, and instant supers while keeping you healed. If you like this video, be sure to drop a heart, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. See you next time.